What's going on guys and welcome to the Detoder review of The Shark Raw Helmet. So guys, what you're looking at is the Shark Raw Helmet. If you didn't know, this is the helmet I chose in my $1,000 Revzilla gear haul video because it looks awesome. I mean, look at it. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure to click the link in the description so that way you know why I'm reviewing all these items and why I'm giving them away at the end of it. Now the Shark Raw helmet is probably one of the most badass looking helmets I have seen this year. I love the brutal look it has, but was honestly surprised it was a three quarter helmet. The goggles and mask, which is attached to the goggles by inserting these rubber pins into the holes, simply lift up to reveal the rider's face. Now granted, you won't have the safety that a regular full face helmet can give you, but I have to say, I did enjoy being able to do this while wearing this helmet. When holding the helmet and flexing it, I did notice it had a little more give than I typically see in helmets, but this is my first three quarter helmet, so this could be typical of this style of helmet. One big thing to know about this helmet is the airflow. You are going to get a ton of it, not only through your face, but through the entire helmet. This is going to be great on hot days and should easily keep you cool while riding. One thing I haven't really been happy with is the quality of the top vent on the helmet. Now, I haven't had any issues, but when moving it back and forth, I just get a really low quality feel. Before I rode in the helmet, I was a little worried about the mask just popping off, but gotta say, after racking up some major miles wearing this thing, the mask connects to the goggles really well and holds in place awesome. Another plus with the helmet is it's super light. Now, I don't think it's a great winter helmet, but I do have to say I rode with it on a couple cold days and I really love the fact that because it's goggles and not a visor, it didn't fog up when I was stopped at red lights. Other than the obvious lower level of protection and the cheap feeling top vent, I really like this helmet and I think I'm going to make it the official incognito helmet if I just run around town and don't feel like grabbing the variant. And guys, that's about all I've got for this badass shark raw helmet. If you guys like this video, make sure to hit the like button and let me know what you think about the helmet in the comments down below. If you do, you could get a chance to win one of these by Revzilla picking you. I appreciate you guys watching this video and I'll see you on the next one in incognito mode. Later. Oh my God, it looks so freaking cool. Shit. I feel like I need to do wheelies wearing this thing. <laughs>